scene with your favorite host, Mr. West. We're gonna get started. Okay, we're gonna intro this scene. It's five o'clock in the morning. It's 1963. You live with your mama. You wake up, you hear a glass window breaking. The window breaks, you grab this baby right here. Oh, excuse me. Do you see how sharp this thing is? It's in there. I mean, this, it's okay. You grab this. Where was I? I I'll be honest, I forgot what I was talking about. All right, so you hear the, you hear the window break. You come around the side. See, see, yeah. You're, you literally, you've scared the bejesus out of whoever just came in your house. This thing is hot. Not only high quality, high technology. These are water jetted out of kryptonite, I believe, called the Defender Extreme. I'm gonna call it the Dragon Zombie Killer Sword because that sells knives and we wanna sell knives here today. Okay, this sword is very sharp. You can def this is made for cutting off fingers, I think. So we're gonna keep this here so we can do some demonstrations. This sword has probably killed at least 800 people. Dangerous, made in China, so you know that it was made by actual oriental designs. Can I say oriental? These are oriental, made by Chinese people. Regular Asian, not oriental. Oriental is for furniture, I know, and for knives. So these are real from the Orient. Let's say these knives are from the Orient, the actual Orient, not Orient Point, Long Island. These are deep seated slices in the back. What do you call these? Serrated, very sharp. Look at that. This is taking off all my fingerprints. I have no feeling in this finger because when I was a kid, a horse stepped on it one time and totally flattened it. It was the size of a half dollar. You should have seen it. It was completely round, like this round, and my mama brought me to the doctor and she they said, there's literally nothing you can do. And uh, so, anyway, the dragon zombie killer, red tank, red hand, full tank, Wu-Tang construction. Let's just take a look. These are very sharp. And you can use these like, if you remember the Death Star Katana from our last year's uh, deal, from the Big Kahuna deal, you can use these in the kitchen, you can use these in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, these are sharp as, as hell. Yeah, come on. Again, we got the speed holes cut right down the center. This allows the airflow and the air geometry. When you swing this, it makes the sound of a lightsaber. I threw my arm out about two weeks ago, so I can't make it do the sound right now. But usually, actually, you know what? Oh, damn, throw me like a cantaloupe or something. Let's show you some moves. Oh, wow. These are damn sharp. Have you seen anything like that? Mm. Yeah, these are, these are no joke. Let me just show you the cleanness. This is a clean slice. Look at that, look at that, no resistance. I shouldn't, I really shouldn't. But <laughs> for some reason, something about these cantaloupes, I just wanna get, uh, mm, that's good fruit. I'll be honest, I'm gonna save these back here for myself. I haven't had a cantaloupe like, wow, that is sweet. That's sweet fruit, that's delicious. Okay, anyway, we got the, the dragon zombie killer, huge sword. Very expensive looking. Five hundred thousand dollar sword. All right, we're gonna just get my breath. Okay, coming at the top, we got the Dragon Zombie Killer Folder Giant Knife Two, made from real steel. This steel, this steel was actually forged from a meteor by uh, a blacksmith in uh, the early 1800s. He's dead. We found these buried underneath Mount Rushmore. And then we had them fully refurbished and bringing them back to you today. The whole deal is going to be $39.99. MSRP on these is $589, usually at a regular dealer. And we're going to throw these into the deal pretty much for free. The whole deal for all these knives, $29.99. So we're going to just move some knives around and we're going to do some, some cutting demonstrations. We're going to test the sharpness of this knife, this sword, this huge freaking sword. This is extremely dangerous. Don't try this at home. I've been training for this. I just want to set it up. I've been training for this my whole life. So don't, seriously, when I say don't try this at home, these things are sharp as hell. Look at, oh my goodness. We're going to cut the top off of this pineapple right away. Hold on. 
There we go. All right. I'm gonna try and wedge this into the wood on the downstrap. This piece is gonna shoot up in the air. I'm gonna catch it in my mouth as I dive roll over here. Just try and get it all, you have that on slow motion, right? Are you ready? I'm cutting it. This thing is very sharp. For that, you're gonna get the dragon. You're gonna get this wonderful stiletto design. Look at how pointy this is. Pointy is very important when you're talking about knives. A lot of people don't understand the importance of a pointy knife. If you need to stab someone, I'm not saying that you should stab someone, but if you need to stab someone in the eye, this is the knife to do it with. This knife goes in smooth, you scramble up the hole inside there and it pops it right out. This is the greatest knife for that. This is good for poking internal organs. Uh, not that you should use your, these are, you can also use these cut your steak for dinner. So don't think that these are just for killing and maiming people. But they are fairly well suited for that use. And uh, these are real wood, real brass, real sharp, except for the sides. The sides are butter knife smooth. And uh, that's a selling point. You don't want it to go in too easily. When you stab someone in the throat, you want to really catch some skin and rip them. It's very hard to stitch it up. Anyway, these are good for killing, good for maiming, good for opening letters, that's about it. But then these are a little more utilitarian in the front, a real set of lock and folders. We call this the double tap. Real nice. It's got the, the frame lock design so that it doesn't slice all your fingers off. And this is a great knife. You gotta use two hands. That's why they call it double tap, double tap. Opens up two hands. Well, maybe if you oiled it up, open, get it to open. Anyway, these are garbage. Um, we're throwing them in for free, so you're gonna get that. It's very intimidating looking. Got the side hole so you can see who you're stabbing. And uh, then you also got the, uh, the vulture. This is called the vulture. Got that upswing serrated edge. It goes like, Caw -caw! Oh yeah, what sound is the vulture? I don't really know what sound the vulture makes. Ah! Okay, that works. So that's the vulture. And then besides the vulture, we also got for your keychain, in case you're getting mugs or you gotta open a box, this is the mini vulture. Uh, what sound do you think a mini vulture makes? Okay, you're out. That's good, that's fine. We'll run with it. The grr grr! Mini vulture. And then for, if for those people with real small hands, and children. This is good if you have a toddler or a small baby and they don't know what they want to start carrying. A lot of times a, a fixed blade knife like this in the hands of a three-year-old is unwieldy. They can barely kill or maim anything with something like this. You start them off with one of these little dragonflies, a one-inch blade. You can, you can cut major arteries and a lot of things like that. It's useful if you need to skin a squirrel real quick. Right up the butthole, you go in in the front and you slice all the way up to the neck. You peel it off like a glove. You can eat them raw. I don't. I heard you can get some weird diseases. Uh, so that's out for me. Ooh, that is sharp as hell. I've cut myself since I've been on this network. Let me tell you, I've cut myself almost 200 times above the waist. Uh, I bled out twice and they gave me a tra transfusion, blood transfusion, and this morning and Anyway, I'm fine now. We're gonna just keep moving because I can't hear anything and you guys are starting to look blurry. Okay, so with these knives, we're gonna throw in the shaving cream like we do and you're gonna need a brush to go with that. For some reason, my brush is gone. I'm gonna use this pineapple to stand in for the brush until I get one. Um, so you get the brush to go with the shaving cream you're gonna get the matte clay. You're gonna get a branded, fully branded, unbreakable comb. These are all bread and butter. We sell more combs than anything else right here at the Holy Black. And uh, these cost us one cent. We get our name printed on it. it costs more than the comb. What the? Something's growing on me. And uh, we're gonna throw this into the deal. These, we usually don't charge for them. We're gonna throw them in for free today. $29.99. Get all four of these one, two, three, four, five, six of these knives, and I'm gonna throw in this shaving cream. I'm gonna throw in a brush. Look at this brush. Oh, you heard that? That's quality. We're gonna throw the brush in. Undroppable, undroppable. Boom, goes for it. Now, 
$29.99. I mean, the brush is $24.99. The Mac Clay's $20, $20, $40, $50, $65, $75, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1